Yo, 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 yo. What is going on? What is going on? Bro, I got all this stuff lined up here on this desk. I need to rearrange all this. Cause it's a mess. Let me check. Let me check with my how my <laughs> how my HD looking. Looking all right. Bad, bad, bad. Centerpiece, can you see that? I wish my autofocus would just act right for once. Come on, autofocus. Just be nice. It like it was trying to do it. Come on, autofocus. Just be nice. God. Just want me to do everything manually. So if I made this a little smaller. Tuck this over in the corner. Tuck that into corner. Where is my autofocus? Here. And then I can do it like that. Okay, that's better. That's better. Now what I do need is some lotion on these hands. That's what I do need. Do it with no hands, bro. Sea salt lily body cream from Relevant Essentials. This has been my whole little vibe right here. Right before I go live or I do a video, because my hands be looking, you see right now my hands is ashy. Can't have that. So I try to, you know what I mean? Ooh, you know what I mean? Get myself together. How y'all doing tonight? Talk to me. First of all, if you here, you better hit that like button. I'm not playing with y'all. Hit that like button. Stop playing with me. Pause. Stop playing with me. Hit that like button and say hello. Say what up. Say what's good. What's really, really good. Let me know that music too loud too. Come on through town. Come through, Tam. So the hands is looking right because I'm probably going to be holding up a few fragrances tonight. And I didn't want to have ashy hands while I'm holding them up. It's crazy. My hands still some kind of way looks ashy, though. It looks a lot better, though. Looks a lot better. Ah. <sighs> Wait for a few more people to roll in. Don, what's good with you, bro? Michael, what's going on? Chilling, man. How about yourself? I figured I would pull it out. Boy, I got like at least 30. <laughs> it looked like about 30 clones on my table right now. Uh, just figured I would pull some pull some uh, fragrances out. Talk about some fragrances, man. How you liking the setup? Am I looking good on the TV screen here? How we looking? We looking good? <laughs> How your day been, man? What you rocking? He said, I'm good, boss. That's what's up, man. Today I was rocking um, my spin wheel picked. It's a scent bird scent. I think it's downstairs, but it's called Rain Day by uh rain day by Derek crosby 10 Derek 10 crosby still looking good brother for sure that's what's up oh y'all see that ice see that ice shining what up courtney love the tv screen hey thank you i appreciate it don't touch that dial <laughs> i wanted to try to look to the tv screen see how it look i might try a different one that I le at least fits it a little bit better and um, we're going to roll with that maybe next time. He said, it's cool. <laughs> What's up? What's up with you, Luke? Don Corleone in the building. So I wanted to talk about, he said, YSL Fresh. That's what I'm rocking today. Okay. That, um, why? I want to say that had like a, does that have like a melon? A melon kind of vibe or something like that. I want to say that's the one that comes in. 
that bottle and it kind of got like a light blue juice or something like that i want to say i could be off but i was in the store and i was smelling night vision and a lady kept trying to push me to check that one out but i'm not i'm not sure but i wanted to gather up and just kind of chat and just talk about established houses or ogs versus clones uh me and a friend of mine were having a conversation about this about a few weeks ago i want to say good healthy conversation uh and we were just talking about some of the ins and outs that happen when it comes to the fragrance community when it comes to uh most of the fragrance community on the business side not on the consumer side um, there is a little bit that I wanted to touch on on the consumer side as well, but mainly, uh, but mainly on the business side, it has that frosted glass to it. Lemon ginger combo purifier, man, that sounds fire. The one that I was rocking today, uh, that rain day by Derek, Derek lamb, 10 Crosby. It is, uh, it only had like two notes. It was like Neroli, like Tanzanian Neroli and Haitian vetiver. But it had like this, you know, like when it rains and then once it's done raining, the sun tries to come out. So you get that warm, damp, fresh, slightly earthy kind of smell. Like it's slightly floral, slightly damp, kind of warm, but not yet. It has that kind of scent to it. And it's really pleasant kind of like a really light musky floral sort of damp earthy kind of vibe and it it it, it smells pretty cool the name fits it well so we were talking about oh, it's time for me to go to bed i gotta i got an industry i gotta go to bed nah it's playing what is going on mike we were talking about the ogs versus the clones and he said, nice TV vibe. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Thanks. One of the things that we were talking about was more so the integrity. I was noticing that there were there are some consumers that will stand by the established brands because you got some established houses that make a great product for a great price point. And it's not a clone. It's not an inspiration. It's just a great original scent and it smells great. It performs. Um, hola, aloha, my son, brother. It's a great topic. Yes, yes. So there are some houses that make some great stuff. Uh, and for a great price point, it performs well, it does well. And those will always get my dollar. Those will always get my respect, my dollar, uh, my business. Um, especially if you're coming up with something that's that's pretty cool, original. It's coming up with something that's a little uh, catchy so far as the layouts. Um, even if you come up with something that's a little bit redundant, but you're able to put your own twist to it, I'm in there. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and jump on it, and I'll be there. There are some houses that produce original stuff but the price point just be a little ridiculous. What me and my friend began to talk about and was con conversing about was what, equ what equates for that price, you know, and what's justifying that price. What I've always, what I've always noticed is, especially in the last few years, that clone companies have been doing a good job at producing a fragrance that smells great, performs great, but then they started doing something where they actually started making the bottles look great. Now, this particular fragrance right here, what is up, Uncommon? What's going on, bro? Appreciate you coming by. Listen, man, I got so happy to see my bro, man. Good to see you, man. Just feel safe seeing you in the chat. Miss you, brother. Um, those of you guys who ain't following or don't know who he is, which I'm probably pretty sure you all know who he is. Give that man a follow. Give that man a subscription. Uh, and let me turn some stuff on while I'm over at chilling. 
that man is a good man uh i know he's been kind of chilling working doing his thing but definitely give that man a subscription the good good guy great content uh down to earth easily relatable and he was one of the people who i first came in contact with in the fragrance community so he's a, he a he, he's a day one for me that's gonna always be brother for me hey so now you're getting companies that are able to produce a quality looking bottle as well so this is if i get my camera to act right this is ministry of Ood greatest 100 mil x-ray of parfum 3.4 bottle 3.4 ounce bottle great atomizer pull that back very fine mist this is their variation of as you probably already can tell Ooh for Greatness by Anisio. Even with the front cover, they did a really good job at trying to mimic it. Uh, even got a little detail on the top of the lid there. Ministry of Oud is the name of the line. This is through Paris Corner Perfumes. Thank you, camera, for autofocusing. Look at that. I am proud of you, camera. Um, What's beginning to happen is you get companies that can produce something like this for a fraction of the cost. Now for Ooh for Greatness, you know, that may not be as far-fetched of a price point uh, versus performance and versus longevity argument. That may be one that you, you may be able to say, you know what, I'll still do this instead. I'm gonna still go ahead and get the OG. Um, but I was noticing that it's getting harder for these companies to justify the price point when you got companies that are like these that are able to produce the same thing at a much lower cost so the conversation that we were having is what's been changing over the years i remember years ago and i said this on one of my uh one of my old lives or one of my other videos i remember <laughs> <laughs> I remember going into the mall and you would see like a, that little fragrance table and you would see a lovely young lady or a guy behind the table and they're running the table and they got all these fragrances and they look strikingly close to the real thing. And then you get close up on it and you quickly realize this is not. Now, this is the real thing here strikingly close what used to happen i'd say maybe seven maybe even eight years ago probably a little longer was these this is what you had for clones and dupes it was cheap it looked cheap it smelled cheap it performed cheap therefore it was cheap this was like 10 bucks i've had this at least since 2011 or 12. Uh, this is, it smells great to me, <laughs> but it's, it's, this is cheap. Let's just be completely clear here. This is cheap and it, it always, uh, it, all, it will always have that, that look and that, that just that feel and appeal about it. That is just like, uh, no, nah, I'm cool. I don't want nothing to do with that. Cause it looks cheesy. It looks like they're trying to bite on this, but something has changed in the clone community and companies have gotten away from this. And they say, you know what? Let's come up with our very own bottles. Instead of us trying to mimic what everyone else is doing or what this company is doing exactly. Instead of us coming up with a name that's super close to theirs, and putting all this money into how it looks and no money into how it smells. Let's reverse that. Companies have, he said, this overlay is lit, Mike. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> what is up? Uh, what's up, Emily? Appreciate you stopping by saying hi to the guy. I'm kind of fly. You can't lie. You can deny it even if you tried it. Companies are reversing that and they're saying, let's focus on the juice. He said, I have a dupe of Ooh for Greatness by Latafa. Yeah, that's uh, Ooh for Glory. And what's crazy is that that's what's different. That's what's different in the fragrance community. 
because there was a point in time where certain sites or certain people who sold that that ooh for glory they were selling out or they were low on stock and you had to get it while you could what bro bro my bro just came through with the 20 piece though man clap it up for my boy uncommon sense yo thank you brother yo thank you so much bro i appreciate you completely man like i said you were one of the first ones that i come in contact with in the fragrance community gonna always appreciate you gonna always show love i'm always check on you i'm always be little bro you know i'm trying to i'm even trying to get my dress to his level you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm catching up with you sir i'm catching up with you also real quickly let me see if i can find it here right here listen guys if you are i gotta i gotta adjust this uh layer i gotta adjust that too if you guys are wanting to contribute to our channel uh i trust me i'll appreciate everything you guys are doing but you if you guys know youtube be they be cuffing like that 30 piece like a 30 percent piece so if you guys want to contribute if you guys want to to contribute to our channel support our channel and you don't want YouTube taking, you know, trying to cuff they little 30%. There's my Cash App down here. Hit me down in my Cash App. If you send me something on Cash App while I'm live, I want you to comment in a comment section, payroll or something. Yes, yeah, comment payroll. So that way I know that you sent something and I can acknowledge you and give you, give you yours due. I want to always thank each and every person that ever sent me any dime. It can be a penny. Let me know so that I can stop what I'm doing and thank you. So I appreciate that. Hey, <laughs> I appreciate it. He says, and Mike, your agro is fire business. <laughs> oh, that, uh, yeah, yeah. Mike, he, he making some, some bomb stuff. Man, they be, they be cuffing, yo, like. It'd be crazy. A man full of gratitude. Hey. Hey, everyone. Good evening. Just wanted to say hi. I'm at work. Aw. What's up, Erica? Thank you for coming by. So. The companies begin to kind of re-engineer. Now you get companies that are like this. You get companies like Dua that have kind of changed the game a little bit. I really love what they're doing over at Dua. And they, they changed the game a little bit. Now, companies like these, like these, companies like this, Afnon, Genre Parfums, even though he got some dope OGs, he do have some clones, Alpha Aroma, companies like these would not do well at all. Thank you. You all have a good night. All right, Evica, have a good day at work, and we'll catch you soon. I thank you for coming by and saying hi to the guy. These companies couldn't do well if companies, the established brands, wouldn't make it so easy for them. When you have a, a, a fragrance, let's say, like this original OG right here, you know what I'm saying? This is Creed Aventus, you know what I mean? Uh, ignore that idiot sign at the bottom. This is Creed Aventus. This is original, real deal, Holyfield. This costs you upwards of four to five, six hundred some dollars, maybe. When you got a fragrance that costs this much, it makes it easier for... Do I still have that fragrance back here? Please tell me I have it. All the freak, the tone, baccarat. I don't, I can't find it just now. I got like a ton of these, but it makes it easier for companies like these to come in and make a different variation of that exact same fragrance and do it at a much lower price point at a fraction of that cost. You're making it so much easier for them. So the conversation that me and my friend were having, my friend said, well, you know what? I feel like it's cheating because 
this person goes through all that trouble of creating an original fragrance. You know what I mean? They go through all this trouble of creating this, this beautiful original. Look at this original bottle. This is the OG without a doubt. They go through all that trouble to create this original fragrance and then someone else comes and steal their work and profits from it. And I told her that's true. And that's the unfortunate side of that particular part of the business. But as I said, when we took a little travel back in time and I said, you know what, just a few years ago, <laughs> this is what this was their competition a few years ago. So they had nothing to worry about. There was no brand worried about this because this wasn't going to be able to hold up performance, longevity, the actual scent. It wasn't going to be able to hold up. I just so happen to like this one, but this isn't going to hold up. What's happened over the years is they've developed the fragrance that can actually hold up and it's different out here. The pandemic hasn't completely passed. We're still dealing with it in some aspects. And there are some people who've made it out of it financially. There are some people who made it out of it physically who dealt with the actual uh, incident itself and had to get medical attention. But there are a lot of people who are left over that are deal dealing with it financially still to this day. They may not be unemployed, but those hours didn't drop dramatically because businesses have changed. When it comes to the fragrance community, especially during that time in 2020, we clung to fragrances tighter. We were we were doubling down and buying more fragrances, it seemed like. There were some of us who were fortunate to be able to just, yeah, I want this Zerjov. I want this right here. I want this niche. I want that one. I want this indie. There were some people who were able to do that. And there were a lot of people that just simply weren't. These brands recognize the ones that aren't. And they capitalized. They realized that these brands who are established were making and formulating a fragrance. And they figured out a way to replicate it. Figured out a way to formulate the exact same thing, but add their own twist to it. You got brands like, um, let me go ahead and adjust my camera for this particular brand here. This is making sense. Shout out to the, the, the fellow in the comment section. This is making sense. And this is actually a hybrid. If I was to actually have both of these fragrances um, and actually layer both of these fragrances, the originals, uh, it would cost me a pretty penny. This would have cost me, this is Heavenly Swim. So I'm going to assume. What is this? Elysium Heavenly Swim. It smells like Parfum de Marley Herod. Apple Brandy and. Um, no, it's not that either. I forgot what this combination was, bro. Special A, a special naps mixture right here. Heavenly Swim. I want to say Elysium and Afternoon Swim. But it smells darker. It smells dark. It smells sensual. My point being is this guy can make some bomb fragrances, some bomb, bomb alternative clone fragrances for a great price point. Elysium Afternoon Center. Okay, cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. It just smells darker for some reason. And me trying to do that with the actual OG would cost me a ton of money. And let's just be honest. When you pay four or five or six hundred some dollars or three or four hundred some dollars for a fragrance, you're not trying to mix anything. You're not trying to layer nothing. 
you're wanting to enjoy that fragrance the way that it is meant to be enjoyed because it costs you so much. During that pandemic, there was a lot of people who just simply couldn't afford it. And like I said, these brands looked out for them and formulated fragrances that they were able to afford. It wouldn't really be much competition if the price point wasn't so drastic. Somebody asked a question in a group and I thought this was a good question. They said, hey, what's a good alternative or a clone for a Blue Day Chanel? And they told them, just buy Blue Day Chanel. The price point on that one isn't bad, performs well, great smelling fragrance, mass appealing, uh, pretty safe in the office space, in the workspace. It's an easy go-to fragrance, a dumb reach, and the price point isn't crazy. So you can just go ahead. They told them, go ahead and buy the original. And the particular group that it was axed in was a fragrance clone house group. And I thought that was really unique, but it showed me that it's not necessarily that people just want to buy clones, but the price points on some of these originals are so far-fetched that when you get somebody that's able to make something of equal quality for a fraction of that price, it makes it that much easier to pull that trigger on that fragrance. If the original cost, uh, let's say one, 150, 120 or something like that, and a clone, let's say from Dua, because we know Dua can get up there. This was probably like $65 for a one ML, not one ML, a one ounce. Actually, I just checked it out. It's Angel Shirt. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was a little dark. I'm like, it's something a little darker about it. It was boozy. Angel Shirt. Yep. I want to say, because I know Elysium is like really bright, high pitched, musky, woody, and Afternoon Swim is just citrus. And I'm like, it's a little dark for those. Good, good job checking in on that. I appreciate that. But yeah, these bad boys cost like 65, 70 sometimes on, on their website. And it's just like, no, you know, sometimes you may not want to pay that if the original price isn't that far ahead. If the original is 150, yeah, just go ahead and pick off up the extra 80 or whatever the cost and go ahead and get the original. It was almost called uh, Surf and Swim. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that one. Yep. And so it's just different out here. What are some of you guys' thoughts on original versus clones? Mike, I already know your thoughts on it. Um, and then I see your collection. You actually go out of your way and you'll pop, pick up some some originals as well. Uh, so, yeah, what are what, what's some of your thoughts on that? I feel that majority of my collection is clones like majority of my collection i really enjoy being able to pick up a fragrance from an oil perfumery or pick up a, a, a f9 f9 and um he said i have over 400 frags love originals <laughs> absolutely and I got some I got some OGs, some originals here. Most of them are considered to be like cheapies or either they'll be like some indie houses, stuff like that. But because I like my originals, but I'm intrigued by clones. Yeah, I I like what they're able to do. I like the fact that you can go to a clone house. Love the bottles and the collecting aspect, but love working to make some frags lower price with a very strong performance. Absolutely. Listen, and I love the work that you do. Listen, hats off to this dude, Making Sense. Check out his website, makingsense.com. We've got a very vast selection, got a huge variety of scents to choose from. I've contacted this guy in the middle of the night on numerous occasions, like, <clears throat> I need this. I need that. You know, could you make this? Could you make that? And he's always, always accommodated, always a uh, great customer service. He's quick. He's fast. I've seen him formulate something that same night and uh, and everything just smells amazing. Everything that I have from him, I'm very well pleased with. 
uh definitely check out makingsense.com whenever you get a chance um love the originals i don't know why well, loving this nothing wrong with the originals are you you do catch some that are just um great originals you they got great fragrances a lot of the clone houses are successful due to the originals being yo hey <laughs> thank you man i appreciate it monetize mike <laughs> Yo, I appreciate that, bro. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. I think this is like my second or my maybe my third donation on the channel. So I'm super, I'm super psyched. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You did not have to. Um, and I'm probably just gonna end up putting it right back. Oh, see, he's slick. He's slick. He knows good and well that I'm probably gonna just go and buy another making sense fragrance. See, I know what you up to, bro. I know what you're up to. You think you slick. No, I'm just playing, man. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. <laughs> That's cool, man. That always makes my day, man. Like, just the fact that you, you're you making content and and uh, people come through. And that's, at, at the end of the day, this is his hard-earned money. The fact that I've seen some streamers, bro, because people get getting off topic people get spoiled out here on this youtube platform bro i see some of these bigger names and people giving four or five hundred six hundred seven hundred a grand donating to these streams and dudes will be like oh yeah thank you for the thank you for the donation and then keep the conversation moving it's just like nah bro you need to learn how to acknowledge like you can't just do these folks like that people be giving a hard earned and he's like, nah, bro, you gotta learn how to acknowledge. You ain't gotta kiss nobody's behind, but take some time to acknowledge somebody that's giving, you know, part parts a huge part of their paycheck, yo. Uh, they give clones are good. I I had a man does a great job. I've been hearing about them. I haven't had a chance to check them out yet. I heard they have a good Bacara Rouge uh variation. Mario, what's good with you, bro? So what's up, Mario? So what's good? Hey, is out here making it work. Hope all is well with you. Oh uh, man, we we good out here. We good. Oh, we're just doing a little chatting, talking about some clones, man. But I I like the I like the creativity that buying clones allows. One thing that it allows is one of the biggest things for me is I can sample in a much larger capacity. So if I was to go to the original site and, and I'll try to, uh, come on, Don, hey, that's what I'm talking about, man, y'all ever got me, y'all were trying to spoil me, man, got my cheek, I can't <laughs> get my smile to go down, man, yo, thank you so much, Don, yo, that's cool, yo, I see what y'all are here, y'all trying to, y'all trying to, Y'all trying to make a boy cry on a YouTube channel? Nah, I ain't going to do it, though. I ain't going to do it. Yo, I appreciate you, bro. Uh, ever since I came in contact with you, man, you've been, you've been solid. You've been cool. Uh, always come through to the to the live video, especially with me and Mags. Stop through and say, what's up? Always like on the videos that I drop on Instagram. My corny uh, fragrance skits on there. You know, I appreciate you, bro, man. You've been solid. You got some good recommendations that I'll be hearing you and Mike talk about. On you on uh on Instagram, man. Solid dude, man. I appreciate you. Yeah, I ain't following him on Instagram. Uh, I believe it's Siage, or is it Siage and Fragrances? And the other one is I wanna say I forgot what your other name, your other page name is. But I think you got like two about two about two pages that I follow. Check him out on Instagram, man. Solid dude, uh great recommendations and got a got a decent uh collection as well got a great nose for fragrance too y'all appreciate it man hey <laughs> he said chilling with mike on his youtube tv screen <laughs> listen i'm gonna try to figure out like if i can make this one look a little more like look a little more solid this one look pretty cool right now but i'm gonna try to like, make one find one look a little more solid he said, if we can get a combined 60 to Mike on his live, I'll send out a, a free 17 in mail to a random viewer. He's up to 40 right now. What? 
Now nah, that'll be dope, bro. Hey, bro, found you looking up some authentic authenticity perfume reviews. I got. Hey, listen. Whoa. Authenticity perfumes. Now nah, that's a brand that I like. I don't know if there's any fragrances out there uh that are similar to theirs. I haven't smelled any, but their fragrances are legit. That summer vibes though. Bro, you're not lying. That's Summer Vibes. I think I got it right here. Oh, I got it right here. Let me tell you something. This right here is, this right here is good. You getting, if I'm remembering the notes correctly, you're getting mango, you're getting pear, black currant, you're getting lime, you're getting bergamot, and mango, lime, pear, bergamot, Black current. It's something else. Uh, you're gonna get some cedar wood in that base. You're gonna get some lavender, and you're gonna get some musk. And I wanna say that's it. This smells great. And the cedar wood that is in here, you smell it right up top with the fruits. Most woody scents, it just it smells like the fruits are on top and the wood is at the bottom. The, the cedar wood is kind of a lighter and airier wood, and it's it's not as dry, smoky like it normally is. And it just, it hangs out with those fruits perfectly. Uh, this is a very good fragrance, and I love the fact that it has mango. Nothing in here smells like the fruit, if, I, if that makes sense. Everything smells, or the meat of the fruit. Everything smells like the peel. Everything smells like the peel. Uh, of the fruit and it's just like this really fresh i thought it was gonna be really juicy and dense but it's more of like a really fresh airy uh but still got a little bit of strength to it sorry let me get to the comments love me some authenticity they got some really good stuff and i, I definitely got to get that original uh summer vibes he said let me get your link i'll check it out bro for sure what does summer vibes smell like oh i just just described it yeah it's 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 dope it's definitely dope he said, I got some of our ship today. Hey. Chill Mo. Oh, bro. How did I just slide past you and not even realize, realize that was him? What up with you, Tyree? What's good with you, bro? What's good? Welcome to the stream, man. I'm going to need to take out Urban King uh, 2.0. I got that one. I got it. I got it. Uh, Give me a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all got to gotta peep my... uh. I got to peep my weight screen. Hold on. Boom. We'll be right back. Yeah, y'all didn't peep that weight screen, though. He's a <laughs> Michael is in here. What's up, bro? I go, okay, to drop my link. Uh, for chill mode, yeah, I think it should. It might go through. Try it out. If it don't, I'm let me let me go ahead and uh look it up myself. I end up doing a sweep on my computer, so I might have to look around for your page. Did you redesign? Oh, uh, okay, nice. It looked a little different. The YouTube channel. Except up my phone. Where's the shop? Is this it? Oh, it should be in the top corner. Store, there we go. Why isn't it, uh... Why don't it let me pull up the store? Store. Okay, I think I finally got it. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and copy. Sorry about that, guys. I was trying to get this link. If I can post it in the comment section. Boom. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah. I got the Urban King and the 2.0 with me. So with these two, you can see the differences in the color of the juice 
this one here being a lighter colored juice here i know my lighting in the background makes it a little harder to see and this one being a much darker uh color juice as well the notes on this is going to be like uh like a blueberry uh probably blackberry cherry maybe raspberry strawberry is in this as well you're going to get some cinnamon in here um maybe some amber if i'm not mistaken oh it smells so good and th those particular fruits that sit up top they give you like this sweetness this musk and it also give you like that tang because that cherry i don't know if it's like uh like a black cherry or what but it gives you like a little bit of like a tanginess to it as well ah man this stuff is good and in comparison to the original man this is just super fresh this one kind of gives me the mindset like a bleaker street and a green irish tweed hybrid that's when this one kind of gives me the vibe of, even though that's not what this is but it puts me in that ballpark uh so far as that uh the vibe that i get from it uh man i appreciate all of y'all everybody who gave man i appreciate y'all thank y'all i can't say that enough so we were talking about clones and then just the fact that it these a lot of these original companies make it so much easier for these smaller brands or these clone companies to come through and to leave a dent in the fragrance community and make such an impact that they that they have <clears throat> strawberry blueberry cherry okay uh Jasmine, lavender, there is cinnamon. Okay. No, there is no amber. I don't know why I thought it was some amber here. Cedar wood, vetiver, patchouli, oak moss, and rosemary. It's just, it's really good, yo. I, I love this scent. So there is, it is blueberry. Okay. I don't know why I thought it was like blackberry, raspberry. There's a tartness in here. And I, I, I want to say it's probably coming from that cherry. That's what I want to say. It's like a little bit of a tartness in there. Not much. But you get brands like this. This is John Rapa Farms, excellent brand, and their marketing is good. They, they, they. He's really good at building uh, anticipation for his releases and for his fragrances, and got a good community, a good audience that he's built around it. <clears throat> this is a clone of MFK uh, Fluidity Silver, and this smells absolutely amazing. Great price point. Uh, great presentation on it. The atomizer is great. So you can pick this up for about like $20 or $30. Probably a little bit cheaper than that. Man, smells absolutely amazing. Filling up this room. And after a while, you just got to start asking yourself, like, all right, am I being gotten over on? You know what I mean? Could you imagine? Said probably from the cherry. Yep, probably so. Say he going to sell uh, this week. Hey, I know you're going to be picking up some stuff. But could you imagine if, say for instance, hmm, let's say this is my original. This is my original fragrance. And my original fragrance is $472. Let's just say that's the price. And then this is your variation of my fragrance. Now, with me having that price point of 472 or whatever we said, and you come out and you literally do 10% of that same price. So you say, oh yeah, mine's is 47.20. You know, it's like, oh man, it's a one, it's a no one ounce bottle, but the price point and the performance is completely killing mine. I'm making it too easy for you as a competitor. At the end of the day, morale and principles and things like that, all of that goes out of the window. All of that stuff goes out of the window because this is a business. And in business, you have to learn how to compete. Period. You got to learn how to compete these bigger brands have been used to being the big brand
and they've been used to companies putting out garbage like this and it's just different it's just a different vibe out here in the fragrance community you're not getting the cheesy bottles that's trying to look like you and uh, the clever names that's trying to make it look like your logo you're not getting that anymore look at that look how stupid that looks that's not something you're getting anymore there are a lot of houses out here that are able to formulate a respectable fragrance in a great looking bottle great presentation they're not using your name or your likeness they're simply seeing the notes copying the notes and adding their own little flair or their own twist to it and offering at a great price point then they'll get even smarter and they'll develop some ogs of their own kevin not kevin devin does the same thing and kevin he does man kevin kevin hold over at sensual obsessions does a excellent excellent job uh somebody speaking about him now i've been meaning to check out sensual obsessions for over two years and i haven't pulled the trigger yet i know man listen kevin does great great stuff yo i got a fragrance of his right here i asked him to make this for me now this was actually a uh a mistake he was meaning to you can see the title on this one this is listed on his site this should be baccarat rouge 540 and creed aventus so this one should be named the prince on his website i asked him to make uh, a hybrid for me and that's another luxury is sometimes not all the houses will do this but sometimes depending on how you approach the house you ask them hey could you make a custom for me they'll make you a custom and that is just simply not happening with some of these bigger brands or that is not happening at this price point i paid 35 dollars for this this is elysium and baccarat rouge and let me tell you something wow you're not getting that that is not happening what is up nisha aka spicy looks aka misfortune listen i ain't doing no giveaway nope because all you're gonna do is win it that's literally all you're gonna do that's all she came here to do she saw the time and she was like okay he getting ready to wrap it up he probably got a giveaway i'm gonna come in and win it nope how you doing today miss spicy uh i sent your package out hopefully it'll get to you soon i gotta recheck the, the tracking and see what it's talking about but yeah man i reached out to him and he obliged 35 dollars for a dope hybrid great presentation decent little atomizer pull it back come on bro that atomizer is wild yo wild big huge spray nice fine mist great price point great performance great longevity excellent customer service decent presentation the ability to approach them for a custom order is your these bigger brands these established houses you're making it too easy for competition you have to learn how to compete this is a business you've been an established brand for this long and you've gotten complacent you've gotten comfortable but situations like the pandemic that happened recently put people in certain positions financially where they were no longer able to come to your house and give you 600 give you 500 give you 400 and so you served you served your business up on a platter and these smaller brands these these clone houses one guess what they were doing they were watching what you were doing plotting on what you was doing scheming and they say okay that's the notes he's using okay i can make that i can formulate that and then they get the fragrance they formulate it and present it present it in a, a package that's eye-catching present it in a price point that's appealing some of these clone houses got fragrances that are at a price point where Somebody say, well, heck, if even if it smells bad, 
it's only costing me this much. Let me try it out. And it's just different out here. It's completely different. You got companies like, like I said, that fragrance that uh, Dre mentioned earlier, that Ooh for Glory. That's a variation of Ooh for Greatness. And the look on it is they completely bit on their bottle. They completely bit on it. And I don't see that that often nowadays. But back in the day, you saw it a lot. You go in the mall and you saw that person sitting up with their fragrances. They had a whole bunch of this going on. I kid you not. Somebody had a, a Gucci Guilty Black clone. And it was one of them cheap, cheesy, stupid bottles. The name of the fragrance was... The, the original name is Gucci Guilty Black for men. Their name was Innocent Black Men. And I was just like, why? But that's what we dealt with. Seven or eight some years ago, that is what we dealt with, yo. He said, I would love a Luna Rosa Black and Baccarat Rouge 540 combo. Sorry, I didn't get to this comment uh, fast enough, bro. I pre uh, sorry about that. That, that. that don't sound too bad. But I got a, I got those two fragrances right here on this shelf up here. Uh, man, I'm dyslexic. There we go. Right here on this shelf right here, I got an oil from House of Matt and another oil from him where... It is the Luna Rosa and the Baccarat Rouge. I can put them together. I can put them together in an atomizer bottle. I do this all the time. I tell people about this all the time. Got an atomizer bottle. I get my oils. I get me some, you know, I get a binder. And I can piece together a fragrance and I can try out different hybrids and I can test them out. If I like the way it smells with the oils that I have, I can approach uh, a Michael Densmore. I can approach a Kevin Hope. I can't approach Devin because you know he's he 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 not he ain't doing all that. He was just like, listen, you, you get what I sell or you get out. I'm like, yes, sir, you, you got it, sir. No problem. <laughs> but there are some people that you can come to and approach them, and they like they'll they'll make it and it'll be solid. And it's a way for you to test out fragrances at a much more efficient way. Uh, or if anyone else is old enough to remember those tacky knockoff sprays in your <laughs> man. Uh, he said, Ufa Glory is probably my favorite dupe today. Man, the bottle looks clean. And it's one of those things where they, they copied the bottle. But from what I hear, the performance is not to be questioned. It's, it's, I heard from what I hear, it smells great. It performs great. I heard it's not as smooth, but they said the dry down, everything is everything is excellent. And it's in black men is definitely my time. <laughs> bro, man, I was crying. I'm like, bro, what is this fragrance? Got to support the small brands, especially when you got more personal connection with the owners, when you are just kind and polite and can talk to them and become friends. Yeah, man, it, it makes it, it makes it, a rememberable experience and me and kev have had a lot of conversations me and mike didn't call you didn't i think he didn't call i ain't called him like about two three o'clock in the morning we were mixing up fragrances trying out crap you know just you know what i mean just enjoying fragrance and that's what i always say and sometimes when you pay such a high price point for a fragrance and it doesn't perform because the issue that we're having, that we're talking about, it isn't about uh, expensive fragrance that performs and delivers. The issue that we're talking about tonight is of expensive, expensive fragrance that failed to deliver, it failed to perform, but you still gave it a high price point. You gotta start thinking, what are y'all thinking about when y'all in these labs? What are you thinking about when you and behind the scenes and you create this fragrance and you're like, yeah, you know, the performance is three or four hours. It smells kind of OK. Uh, we'll just give it a rinky dink bottle. And what are we going to charge for it? Uh, shoot, I don't know. Um, they paid 400 the last time, so we'll do 400 this time. What? It just it'd be blowing me. 
quite a few of my customers decided to analyze their spending habits, begin rerouting fragrance funds to invest or launch a business, which is why they started experimenting with dupes. Exactly. Nice. I like that. I have both Oofa Greatness and Glory. I've done extensive testing of both fragrances and Glory beats greatness in every category. Wow. I remember mixing up Frozen Maximus <laughs> by mistake. Hey, listen, Maximus Frozen, I like that one. Now, that one is a variation of Creed Aventus. I want to say his, uh, it's the 13 ZZ batch. I think it's the, the variation of that one. And Winter Palace by Memo, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's called Ice Castles on his site. And just being able to have fun in that regard being able to have fun with fragrance and not to get off topic but that's the reason that i always say that like bro you gotta have fun with your fragrances one of the things that i was noticing in the fragrance community is that i will go to click on somebody's channel and they would have a haul nothing wrong with the haul knock yourself out but it'll be Oh, I got this fragrance right here. Oh, it's patchouli amber and, and, and some pepper. Oh, I got this fragrance right here too. And this is this is lavender and diapers and pampers. And then I got this fragrance right here. This one is this is uh is grapes and milk cheese. And they're just kind of like they're just flying through these fragrances. But each one of the fragrances was like two or three hundred dollars. And then you you log on to their channel the next week. And they're doing the same thing again. You would have some content creators that genuinely just love fragrances and that's why they buy them. And then I was noticing a certain vibe. You would get some content creators that was buying fragrances, trying to fill a void. They had the finance and the money for it but it's a void and so they would buy this fragrance thinking this will fill it it gets here they smell it and the next thing you know they're back clicking and looking on the computer for another fragrance it gets here they smell it they like it they'll do a review and then they're back on the computer looking for another fragrance. I was noticing that I was ex showcasing that same type of behavior. But with me personally, it was because I was trying to fill the void. There is a bit of happiness and serotonin and some stimulation in the dopamine sector that happens when you get a new fragrance. You are It does give you some joy. But it was coming from a place where I was trying to instead of confront my problems, deal with the problems that I was facing, I was trying to spray over them. And this isn't gonna work. That ain't gonna help. It's not gonna sustain. And so I had to realize I can never fill that void and spraying my problems isn't, it isn't gonna work. For those of you who are watching this video, if you find yourself trying to spray your problems away, you find yourself trying to make your problems just smell good, cut it out. Realize when you are really hurting and tend to it. Confront that problem and tend to it. But this ain't going to this ain't going to ain't going to cut it. To make matters worse, you got some people that will never purchase this, never purchase this. They will only purchase the high, the top quality in their eyes. They're only purchasing the two, 300 because that's what their followers expect from them. So they put themselves in a box and week after week, you see them chugging away hundreds, 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 hundreds of dollars. Yeah, I just got this fragrance here. This is the new Roja Dove, whatever. I just got this one right here. This is the, this is the Jerjoff, who cares? Oh, I just got this one here. And you see them literally showcase like about a good two, three grand sometimes on one video. 
it's so many different things that goes into it so it's so many reasons why um, i'm always advocating indie houses that are at a, a good price point that are at a reasonable and fair price point i don't need every fragrance to be uh a clone i don't need every fragrance to cost 20 30 bucks in order for me to support it i just need you to be fair I need you to have integrity. That was the conversation that me and my friend were having. We, we don't hold any of these companies accountable. And there's a lot of integrity that is just lost with a lot of these established brands. And me going to a, a King fragrance, which I just recently found out about uh, a hybrid house and he does some he does some superb work uh a semi andros i love this dude love this house great presentation crazy atomizer crazy performance uh a sensual obsessions an alt fragrance <laughs> wholesale body halls hello african import this is one of the first ones i was rocking with creed replicas do excellent renditions of creed fragrances killer oud I, the presentation on this is immaculate what does this look like? It looks like a Zhirzhov, but it's actually like a um, Amouage. This is a Amouage. This is an Amouage uh, variation interlude, I want to say. Is interlude, if anybody has Amouage interlude, does it have anything like oud? Like a, like a slight tangy almost animalic oud but not quite because i want to say this is interlude if, if i'm not mistaken uh i have no problem with uh, a house of matte oil these are six bucks and i mean they the boy don't miss this i want to say is um wash reflection look at this bottle crazy crazy presentation i have no problem with that because i'm able to purchase at a way in or at a rate that is I'm able to purchase at a rate that is fair, that is sane. I'm able to find a great performance. And I'm able to experience what you guys experience. Because me being able to get clones helps me not to feel so left out. I've never purchased a bottle of Aventus, but I know exactly what to expect if I was to go and purchase it. Because I've been able to, you know, to sample. I mean, with, with this bottle right here. This is the real Aventus. I mean, you can see the label right there. That's the real Aventus. You know what I mean? And this is the company right down here that made it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm able to sample in such a way where I can get a great understanding of what I would be to ex what I would be expecting from the real original fragrance. Um, and doing this, I've been able to sample in just such a huge way rather than a small dapper or a small one or two ounce, one or two mil uh, sample. Uh, sorry if I'm been missing the comments. Okay, I gotta go get some sleep. You take care of everyone else in here. Good night. Yo, appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much. Uh, Emily said, consumers have changed. Yeah, it's, it's, it's different. It was just way different out here. Is it obviously they're wrong? They think people will tolerate it. Exactly. It's kind of gross, isn't it? That... <laughs> Which the consumption one like that. Yeah, it's just I see it a lot. I see it a lot with a lot of the hauls and stuff like that. And I usually don't watch a lot of haul videos. And sometimes you just gotta pick you pick up a lot of fragrances. That happens. I, I totally understand that. But sometimes you can see between the fragrance. <laughs> I guess if that makes sense. Uh me, just love frags, don't even mention my own my own on the videos oh wow well, yep I, I definitely noticed that nothing will ever fill that void true i can admit most of my fragrances i have not sat down and enjoyed more than one word and that's that's an issue so that's why i always tell people let me uh let me go ahead and pull it up now while i'm thinking about it let me pull this up right now so this Give me a second.
So this is uh, where does it go? So this here is a spin wheel that I found online, and we've all seen these. You know, we've seen people use them for like giveaways and stuff like that. But I use these for uh, for my fragrances. I got all of my summertime uh, fragrances, you know, typed in here. And all I'll do is I'll click it, it'll spin, and the fragrances that I normally would never even think about reaching and wearing, I'm able to go and I'm able to find it and, you know, wear it. And I think that's a dope way to incorporate a lot of the fragrances that we just impose by and we really don't think of. We just kind of run over it or we just kind of go to the next fragrance. I think that's a really cool and efficient way to include a lot of the fragrances that you just kind of forget about. Go through there, go through your fragrance collection, type up what you got, uh, copy and paste it, throw it in the wheel, and it's gonna drop all of them and give them their own section. And you can use that on a day-to-day -day basis to pick your fragrance. I thought it was pretty cool. Thank you for sharing this. You know, you're welcome. I, I appreciate you stopping by and just hanging out with me for a little while. She said, there's more to compete on than price. Absolutely. <laughs> What's a good starter fragrance from Marmage or a dupe of them? I like Journeyman. I like Journeyman. That one was a bit sensual, had a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of a, a little bit of a depth and darkness to it, but still was kind of fresh. I really enjoyed the way that that one smelled, but a lot of Armoire is like a lot of those, they use a lot of herbs and basils and oreganos and stuff like that. And some of them can get a little out there. So you gotta, it's really an acquired taste house. Uh, but Juba, Journeyman is something that I really enjoy. I'm here for support. Just shared your live stream to Facebook, and Telegram, Twitter. Learn so much from watching your videos. Great work. Appreciate you, brother. You all enjoy your evenings. Yo, Emily, thank you so much for dropping by, saying hi to the guy. I'm fly. You can't lie. Couldn't deny it even if you tried it. Have a good night, lady. I think we might be getting ready to wrap up ourselves. I definitely enjoyed this convo and just kind of hanging out with you guys, sharing some thoughts. Maybe one day I can bring up this topic and we can bring somebody on to the show and we can actually sit, sit, you know, sit, sit together side by side on this TV screen and, uh, and discuss some things. To every single person who came through and donated, I hate that it, uh, that it makes them disappear. Here it is. Uncommon. Bro, thank you so much, bro. I appreciate that. Uh, that stuff don't go lightly to me. I appreciate and I remember and I want to highlight you and show gratitude every single time. Making sense, bro. I appreciate you. The Don. Appreciate you coming by, bro, and contributing the way that you did. Thank you so much, man. I, I None of it will go unnoticed. I always, I'm going to always show love and show gratitude. Um. I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up for this stream. Uh, and maybe I'm thinking about re redoing, um, redoing my podcast in like, I guess the premise for the podcast. So we typically talk about pretty much any and everything on that particular podcast. And I may be re gearing it towards fragrance. I think I'm going to keep the name, the Regal 30 podcast. I like the name and, I designed it and everything like that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and keep that. And um, we might just re-gear it towards fragrance. And fragrance will be the focal point, And then it can branch out to different other topics and areas of life and things like that. Um, like I said, I appreciate each and every person dropping by and just hanging out with me tonight. And uh, I, I enjoyed each and every one of you guys. Have fun on this stream. We reached an hour, 11 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. And attend to these girls down here because they are uh, hanging with mama and they giving her a hard time. <laughs> um, for those of you guys who are still here, hit that like button. Put that, hit that like button. If you're here and you're enjoying the content, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Everybody who's here, I think you always subscribe. So you guys are great. Not you guys, you guys are great. But if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this, hit that sub button. Hit that like button. That helps our metrics, that boosts our metrics and get us recommended, get us in front of a bigger audience. If you love our content, share it with your friends. Share it and, and, and let them know about our channel as well. 
You can see this banner at the, t at the bottom of the screen. If you want to contribute to our channel, uh, you don't have to always go through the automated thing with YouTube because I know they take 30% of what you guys give to us. If you want to contribute in a more of a unbraided way, check out our cash app. This is our tag down below. Money, dollar sign, naps and nurture. Uh, find us on cash app and you can bless us that way. If you are ever in our chat and you do that, drop the comment payroll to let me know so that I can personally thank you. And that way, whatever you send to me won't go unnoticed. Uh, until then, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys soon. Peace.